Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your very first MongoDB tutorial for beginners and in this video I'm just going to give you a quick introduction as to what MongoDB is and the kind of things you're going to learn along the way. Alright then, straight down to business, what is MongoDB? It is a NoSQL database and that basically means that instead of storing data in tables as we would with a SQL database like MySQL, we instead store it in documents or collections of objects much like JavaScript notation, okay? Now, if we think about this for a minute, that makes sense if we're using Node.js on the server because it's easy to communicate with a NoSQL database when we're using JavaScript objects. So it's really good when we're using JavaScript. And we can use it anytime we want to store data and persist it in our application, for example, a web app, right? And Mongo is the M in the mean acronym. So you've probably heard about the mean stack. Mongo is the M, Express is the E, Angular is A and Node.js is the N. And these are interchangeable, by the way. So the way it works is as follows. We have our client, the browser. So we navigate to our website in the browser, yeah? We've got Node running on the server in this case. And when we make a request to that server, the server handles it. If we want to see some data, it goes off to MongoDB. It grabs that data, brings it back, and it can show it to us in the client or the browser. So that's all pretty simple, right? So what the hell is this dude sitting in the middle for right here? This is called Mongoose and it is a package that we can install on Node.js on the server, which makes communicating with MongoDB that much easier. So in this tutorial, we're going to be installing Mongoose via Node.js, the Node package manager, and we're going to be using that to communicate with MongoDB so it's much easier for us. All right, so that's how it works. And in this course, what we're going to be doing is first of all, installing MongoDB and Mongoose. I'm going to show you how to do that in the next tutorial. Then we're going to be looking at basic CRUD operations. That's create, read, update, and delete. So these are the four operations you're going to be typically using uh, when you're working with MongoDB. Okay. Then finally, or rather not finally, throughout the whole course, we're going to be looking at Mocha as well, which is a testing framework. So we're going to be learning about that on the side. And just a couple of things you will need to know before starting this course. The first one is JavaScript. We're going to be writing all of our code in this playlist in JavaScript. So that is a must. If you don't know any of that, I've got a playlist on that. So I'll leave the link down below. And second of all, you're going to need to have Node.js installed on your computer because we're going to use the NPM or the Node Package Manager. OK, so I'm going to show you how to do that. You don't need to be a wizard in Node.js or anything like that. I'm going to show you how to install it and we'll go from there. OK, so just a few more things I want to show you. First of all, this is Atom. This is the text editor that I am going to be using in this playlist. A lot of people always ask me what editor I'm using, and it is this thing right here. I think you'll agree it looks really nice, and it's extendable as well. It comes with loads of different packages that you can install. Okay, so if you want to download that, just click this button right here. Second, I'm going to be using CMD or Commander, however you want to pronounce it, as my command line tool. So if you want to download that, it's free as well. You can come down here and go to download right there. If you don't want to do that, you can use the inbuilt Windows or Mac one, whichever one you prefer. I just like using this one. Um, this is the Node.js website, node.js.org. You're going to need to install this as well. Dead simple. All you want to do is click this button right here. Get this one if you want the latest fe uh, features, but this is adequate as well. Click that. It's going to walk you through a dead simple installation process. Just go through all that and you'll have Node.js installed on your computer. If at the end of that you want to check that you've got Node.js installed on your computer, just go to whatever command line tool you're using and you can say Node V. And that's going to throw back what version of Node you've currently got installed on your computer. So if it throws back a number like this, then you have been successful. Well done. All right. So after that, I have got some course files. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see these a bit better. I've created a repository on GitHub called MongoDB Playlist, and all of the course files are in this repository. I've got a different branch for each different lesson. So if you want the individual code for each lesson, just choose that branch, and you can see it all right here. Or if you want to download it all, just go to master, which is right at the bottom, and then you can come to clone or download. You can download the zip folder, or you can copy this thing right here and then clone the repository in your computer. And I'm going to show you how to do that in the very next lesson. I'm also going to show you how to download MongoDB and install that on your computer as well. So there we go, guys. That is your introduction to MongoDB. If you enjoyed these videos, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. And I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.